here, we'll start off with instrumentation. And the purpose of this device is looking for any signs of inflammation. So when a tissue gets damaged, there's an inflammatory process that signals to the body, it says, hey, go, you gotta go pay attention to this area. See what's going on and start repairing whatever is going on in that region. So one of those signs of indicators is there's gonna be swelling. Now that's what we're seeing over here. And there's some puffiness over here as well. And additionally, there's gonna be some muscle tightness, spasms. And also because there's increased vascular supply, as in other words, more blood is coming into the area, it's trying to introduce more white blood cells. As a result, the bypass is gonna be heat. And that's what this device is picking up. So we got some, as normal heat readings on this level here, another on this level here. And I definitely wanna take a look. See over here, there's some muscle spasms here more swelling on the left hand side over here. So we're also going to, I would not be surprised. Right. Yeah, you got something right there. Okay. Right there. Looks like that's some chronic nerves. So what happens in the, with an acute nerve versus a, a chronic? See, this one we see is more well, like a subacute because it is showing up and not a strong reading. So what we do is this, we're gonna tilt the scope. See, there is a reading over here. That means that the, the nerve is being pinched off for so long that it's starting to atrophy a bit and shrink and degenerate. So that's what happens with a chronic nerve. And that's what we're also looking for signs of as well. And they're a little harder to find. I got another one at this level. Let's see. Okay, we got some way below. And this is very puffy all around here. So there's something really going on here. There's that fourth lumbar. Let's see the sacrums. Okay, good. That's holding. Two is holding. Four is holding. Uh, four is a little tiny blip. I'll double check what's going on on that side. So this instrumentation right over here. And we're looking for signs of that inflammatory process, which is swelling, muscle spasms. And when the body initiates that inflammatory process due to a damaged structure, what it does is start increasing the vascular supply, causing abnormal heat in the area. And that's what this device picks up. So we're just marking the areas where this felt this fella picks up, and then we're gonna take a closer look. From time to time, when there's something's been there for so long, to the point that the nerve and the vascular supply cells is degenerating, that's what we call chronic, chronic nerve. All right. So this right here is instrumentation. 
We're looking for any signs of an inflammatory process, which is muscle spasms, swelling, edema, and also as a result of that tissue damage, it also initiates an inflammatory response and it also increases vascular supply to cause the white blood cells to go into the area to try to heal that area even more. And that increased vascular supply causes abnormal heat. That's what this device here picks up. We found something over there. We found another one at this level over here. And we see it there's a lot of swelling down here. So, so we're gonna see what that's all about. See, it's chronic, so it's been there for a long time. So we're gonna see what's going on with that thing. We're starting with instrumentation. This device, what this fellow does is, is looking for signs of any structural damages, which results in, in that inflammatory process. So when the body starts the inflammatory process, you read, causes the muscles to spasm up to try to stabilize the structures. There's also swelling edema, which irritates the nerves. And one of the byproducts is gonna be more increased vascular supply, which in turn causes increased temperature into the area. And that's what we're looking for. That's what this device here picks up, is that increased temperature, that unnormal temperature in the area. And we found two candidates, very subtle. And we got one. So right now we're looking for any abnormal temperature. That's what this instrument device is for. And right now we're doing things a little speeding because he can't sit here too well. And we found a reading right here. And there's one heck of a reading got there. Okay. Wow. Right. Why do you like that? This, this, there's a, pretty much almost no reading there. Wow. I did ice it before coming, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but. Possibly. Same thing as here as well. The reading here has improved. You do have a small little reading here. Yeah. It's significantly improved. Mm-hmm. Very, very small of a reading. Let's see what that's all about. So this instrumentation over here, we're looking for that over there. So when the structure gets damaged, it sets off that inflammatory process, the body gives off some indicators of that, which is swelling, edema, and increased vascular supply. So clearly we see something going on around here. So, bam, right there, right in the middle of all of that mess right there. Okay, so we started with instrumentation. We're looking for any clear indications of damaged tissues over there, so. When tissue gets damaged, causes an inflammatory process, which results in that normal increased temperature of heat. And that's what this device over here is picking up on that side. And let's see now. We got another level right here as well.
Next. Got it. All right. Okay, so we're doing instrumentation right now, and we're checking for any signs of inflammation. So when this, when, so when this structure gets damaged, it initiates an inflammatory process. So we're looking for any defensive mechanisms, such as, is there any localized swelling? And that's what I'm already seeing right off the bat, there's something really swollen right over here. And that's what this device is already picking up. There's an abnormal temperature right at this level over here. There's something else going on over here. Yes, there is. Reading right there. And then I believe I saw another one. There it is. Right here. So we're in instrumentation. We're looking for any signs of that inflammatory process. Gives off from a damaged tissue and the byproduct is abnormal heat. And that's what this device is gonna look for. And we're gonna mark any potential areas of concern, which is one right here. I saw something. So what we have here is this is instrumentation. I'm looking for any signs of inflammation. Basically, when those discs and you know tissue structures start to get damaged, starts off that signal alarm system, and that's inflammation itself. One of the telltale signs is swelling, muscle tightness, and increased temperature due to more vascular supply. So we got a potential reading at that level. Bus scanning. Yeah, we may have something. And there we go. A small little reading to the right on this level here. Get down a little bit, sir. Okay, that's a tiny reading you got up there. Let's get them nicely. Let's get them very well there. Small little reading on that one. Small little reading on that one. Tiny reading on that one. First things first, we're going to do instrumentation. And when your body, when there's some tissue damage, your body starts and initiates inflammatory process. And some of the telltale signs is localized swelling, like what we see over here. It's gonna be some muscle spasms. And there's also gonna be some abnormal temperature, meaning just heat. So when I feel like this, this, is, this spot right here is warmer than everything else. See, so get a little cooler, warm here, cool. So this device what over here is much more sensitive. Picks out at this particular level what we're looking for. Uh, we've got something here. Got one right down there. I think we saw a cold in there. There it is. There's another fellow right there. 
Right there. Well, there you have it, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yes, if Dorsal's in trouble. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Okay, so everything else is calming down. That's healing just fine. So you notice the reviewers over here, we don't have any readings down here. So that means we did a phenomenal stand-up job over here. We're not gonna do anything else, but we saw this big reading over here, that's in trouble. And on top of that, we've got all this big swelling right over here. So right now what we're doing is instrumentation. Um, bottom line is this, when the structure gets damaged, like a, like a herniated disc inside here. What the body does is, it starts out the inflammatory process. A couple of the byproducts is, we're gonna see some swelling, and that's what we see here. There's quite a swelling over here. And we're gonna find out what's going on with that. It's gonna be muscle spasms. See, it's nice, nice too soft here, but it's firm here. And there's gonna be abnormal heat. So it's nice, it's like decently, and it's warmer, cool here. So it feels a little warm in this region. So that's what this device picks up. So even though my hand is this wide, this device, as so you see over here, the pros are very thin. So I'm able to identify and isolate. And we feel this pitting edema right there. It just sinks in right at this level. This is the one. You gotta take a closer look, see what's going on, because it's in trouble. In addition to, and we'll touch that base in a bit, okay, this nerve is usually responsible for the innovation to the stomach. So that may explain why she's experiencing that acid reflux. That, that gag reflex matter as well. Oh, we scan a little lower. And even though she's complaining about a lot of sharp low back pain, but we see there's a lot of puffiness, a lot of swelling. See, this is not fat. This is all swelling. It's like a huge airbag just engaging her. And because it's chronic, right there, see, this, this problem has been there for quite some time. That's why it's such a much or lower than I probably see as well. Mm. We're gonna set up an instrumentation right here. And the bottom line is this, we're looking for any signs of inflammation here. So when this tissue gets damaged, it starts off that inflammatory process. And one of the signs of it is increased swelling. And that's what I'm seeing over here. Muscle spasms also over here as well. Mm -hmm. And also increased heat. And that's what I'm feeling over here. There's heat here. See, this is this is regular temperature, and this is warmer. Okay, right, right over here. And you can see my hand is much more wider than the probes over here. See these metal contacts over here? Mm -hmm. It's much more thinner, so it's a lot more precise and accurate to tell me what level we've got. And this fella right here is in trouble. So we'll take a look what's going on that fella. Let's see what else. We have another one at this level here too. So we'll see what's going on there too. And we also, that correlates with a lot of data, there's a lot of swelling here as well. Okay, no, that's all right. Okay, make this a little progress here. Okay, where are we reading here? Okay. 
not a bigger reading here. smaller reading here. Yeah, that's... Okay, we're sort of our instrumentation, looking for any potential abnormal heat temperatures. We found one at this level. Keep on scanning. We found another one at this level here, right at the same level as that rib. Too. I believe we saw something around here as well. Nope. nope. All right, Jim. All right, so this is instrumentation. So when all that structures get damaged, cause an inflammatory response, and yeah, we're looking for any abnormal heat temperature. We found one at this level here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw some other areas too. Let's see what else we got. Got one here. Okay, let's get this ball rolling over here. So what we're doing right now is instrumentation. We're looking for any signs of abnormal temperature that comes about from a damaged structural tissue as engaged in an inflammatory process. So upon visualization, we're looking for, is there any signs of swelling, any muscle spasms, which we're we'll seeing right off the bat here and here as well. And this device over here picks up that, also the other byproduct, heat. So we found heat levels here, here. And I believe we found two more over here. Okay, this felt a little more chronic, but there it is right there. Very tiny. One point to the right. And I believe we got another one right here. Got another fellow right there. And we got another one to the left right there. Good. All right. As we see here with the reading, just keeps on staying six points. Six, five to six points all the way straight down. So we've got some kind of core pressure going on over here. And there, see, it ends right at the very top, top reading right there. Now, what's important is if we saw last time, 
it was good five to six points on the right. Now we see this, this is almost centered. It's just one point to the left. See now we address that core pressure. Now we're starting to see the, some potential heat readings on this area. And look at that. We clear that reading out. Good. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take a look on instrumentation. For any abnormal temperature here. Not too bad. Not bad at all. There we go. We have a reading right there. And we have another one to the right. Right now we're doing instrumentation. So we're looking for any signs of swelling and the temperature, so on and so forth. So the bottom line is this, when the structure gets damaged, when there's like a, disc like a mild disc herniation or disc bulge or what have you, when the intracellular material and extracellular material, these start mixing together, that's how it starts inflammation. And because it becomes unstable, what the body does is it starts to introduce muscle spasms to try to stabilize biomechanically. B, it also starts introducing swelling, some fluid in the area. And C, it also starts increasing temperature in the area as well. So that's what this device does. It picks up any increased heat or increased abnormal temperature. Okay, so this one clearly looks chronic. Oh, good tool right there. Very small reading here. All right, so right now we're doing an instrumentation. We're just looking for any signs of inflammation over here. So when a tissue gets damaged, it sends out that smoke alarm signal system telling it go fix this area. So one of the byproducts is abnormal heat. And that's what this device does. It just picks up heat and you know, we're seeing something right at this level. See what we got. Okay. 
Okay, just let me find it right there. Okay, we got a really light here. So, instrumentation, we're looking for sound sensitive information. And we already see this fellow right here. This is also, this is very small, very enlarged. So it's no big surprise why there's a huge reading right at that level. Right, so this device, what it does is it detects for abnormal temperature. So clearly something's inflamed and damaged in there. And let's see what else is going on. Got a reading over here. Small reading there. One point to the right. And another one point to the right on the upper cervical. So right now what we're doing is instrumentation. We're looking for any signs of abnormal temperature resulting from a damaged tissue. Because the bypass information is we're looking for any swelling, any edema muscle spasms to try to stabilize a joint in addition to heat okay so when i have increased vascular supply that's how we get more increased heat in the area okay, over there uh, let's see what else we've got going on here small little reading over here Okay, so we're going to start with uh, instrumentation. Look for any signs of abnormal temperature. And we're going to go right at that level. I'm expecting a lot of chronic cold nerves in the area. Here's one at that level. There's another one on that level. One right there. One right there. One right here. Let's take a look. So we're starting with instrumentation. And what we're doing is this. When a body, when the tissue undergoes damage, structural damage, that's where the positive, negative, the intracellular and extracellular materials, they start mixing up and it causes a charge. And that charge is what initiates the inflammatory process. One of the byproducts is heat. And that's all this device does. It just picks up at normal temperatures of heat. And I'm more concerned about what particular levels. Because I could do old school, which is just put my hands over here and here. And this is more, see this? It's a little more cooler here, a little warmer here. Cool here, warm here. But the thing is, my hand is pretty wide over here, whereas this, it's pretty narrow tips. See right there, those metal wires over there? That's pretty narrow over there. So like, it's much more precise to determine what 
what particular level of involvement we got here. We've got another one right here, down here too. So let's see what's going on up here. All right, you can see there's also something very small over here. So clearly something's going on to stabilize. Mm -hmm. So this is fluid edema. Right? This is another byproduct of inflammation. Uh, we got a reading over there as well. Small one, but it's there. Okay, so what we're doing right now is instrumentation. Now, clearly, by the nature of how he described things, okay, he did like a quick stop. He may have unintentionally caused a structure response to the knockout of alignment, causing the nucleus propulsus in one of the discs or what have you, shift that alignment, and may have caused a herniation somewhere in there. So when we start to have a herniation, the, where the intracellular material and extracellular material, they have a different charge, one's positive, one's negative. When they start mixing, right, that causes an inflammatory response. So the body has some defense mechanisms. So we're looking for, is there any swelling in the area? All right? And yes, we do. We already start seeing some swelling right here. We also see some swelling right over here as well. Other byproduct we're looking for is also increased heat. This device, that's what this fellow picks up, is increased heat compared from the left side of the spinal nerves and also the right side. So when we trace it down here, so we, have a, we have a potential reading at this level over here. And looking even further down, we have another one down here as well. Now, I'm not saying that these are definite, uh, the culprits themselves. This is just only one check, right? One objective data. I want to further investigate, see, okay, let's take a closer look, see what's going on here. All right. So, right now we're doing instrumentation. So, basically, when your structure gets damaged, namely the discs, and it starts an inflammatory process. A couple of byproducts is swelling. That's what we're looking for. Or edema. And we're also looking for at normal temperature. So at normal heat is one of the byproducts. We found something here. And there's also a lot of swelling here too. You see what's going on. It keeps on pulling lower and lower. All the way down here. And I believe we saw some things up here as well. Let's see. Oh, we got something. Looks like dirt dorsal up there. Okay, we got something chronic here. Chronic fill here. Looks like a second lumbar. So we were reading way up there. Tilt the scope. Looks so like things are progressing pretty well. 
Slight little beauty there. Kind of goes down a bit. Well, very All right, so we're starting off with instrumentation and we're looking for signs of inflammation. So when the discs, they get damaged and start irritating the nerves, one of the byproducts is heat, swelling and edema, muscle spasms. So that's what this device looks up for. I don't look for any abnormal temperature, that byproduct of heat. And we found one at this particular level here. Now we're not saying we're just things trying to look for supplications. That's not its primary duty. In the Gossett method, what we're trying to do is we're trying to look for as much abductive data as possible to confirm and validate and to be certain, saying like, okay. I found a potential problem over here, and I want as much objective data as possible to confirm, you know, test A shows the problems here, test B shows here, test three shows over here, test D shows over here. Pretty good bet the problem's over there. So that's what we're doing over here. This is one of our tests. We're looking over there. Okay, we got something already. Visualization alone, there's a swelling over here, swelling over here. Yeah, some minor pulling here, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so instrumentation, we're looking for any abnormal temperature here. So when there's something that's structurally damaged, namely the disc, byproducts is swelling edema to stabilize, especially the muscle splinting. In addition to the nerve root gets irritated. Now we see an abnormal temperature, that's one of the byproducts, right at that level. Okay, so just even before I start instrumentation, it's I already can see it upon visualization alone. There is something very swollen right here. And it looks at like that fifth dorsal already. Yeah, a fifth dorsal level. So now I'm gonna start instrumentation. We're gonna look for any abnormal uh, temperature. And since that thing is swollen as a Dickens, bingo. See, that correlates already what we found. So it's swollen, there's a heat reading right at that level. Now, I'm also seeing there's a lot of swelling down here too. We'll touch base on that in a moment. Got a reading down there. Let's have a lot of swelling here. Let's see what that's all about. We tilt the scope. See a chronic nerve like that. See, it's more evident when you tilt the scope. Yeah. yeah, you may have something here. I'll take another look at that level later on. Not too bad. Okay, we've got something the fourth lumbar level. The small little blip. Something here, too. I have to turn the fella. Barely registered. One point. Okay. 
Okay, so let's sort of instrumentation. Let's look for any potential abnormal temperatures. So the story is this. Once a tissue gets damaged, it initiates an inflammatory process which causes the blood vessels to start dilating and will increase in more circulation and that causes increased temperature in the area. We're looking for that telltale signs. And we've got one reading over here. And what do you know? We got something down here. One way down here. One right here. Now this is very subtle, so we're going to start tilting the scope so we can make a little more prominent on the instrument. We still have only one point to the right, the lower cervical region. We have another reading right up there as well. All right, we're going to start with instrumentation. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Any size of inflammation. Now, when a tissue gets damaged, especially the disc or what have you, the surrounding structures initiates that inflammatory process. Uh, one of the telltale signs we're looking for is abnormal heat. And we also see there's some kind of already, there's already heat around here. Even the skin itself is a little, it's reddish around here just on the right hand side, which is correlated with the heat reading, what we find on here to have lower temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look what's going on at this level. Oh, this is healing pretty nicely. Very small reading over there, right at that level. All right, we still got the reading over there. All right, so let's take a look. Starting off with instrumentation, and we're looking for any abnormal temperature initiated by inflammation. So when the tissue gets damaged, it initiates that inflammatory process, causes the blood vessels to enlarge, and resulting in increased heat. This device picks that up. So we're marking any potential areas of concerns that we want to take a closer look at. Now it doesn't necessarily mean this is definitely the problem areas, no. These are only components of objective data we're looking for to help us focus on these key areas. That's close. There you are, you're hiding right there. All right, let's take a look. Cervical problem. All right. So we're going to start off with instrumentation and we're looking for any potential temperature 
Not even a mile is going on. So when that structure gets damaged, it initiates an inflammatory process and it causes the, the, um, the blood vessels to start dilating and all the blood start rushing the area and that's what causes that, that abnormal increased temperature of heat. That's what this device here picks up. So, but in addition to, I'm also seeing, okay, we've got some swelling over here. We've got swelling over here. And we've got another one over here as well. So we're gonna take a closer look See what's going on with these key areas over here. And it looks like it's been there for quite some time. That's what we call a chronic nerve. So we've got some potential over here. Now to clarify what we mean by, by a chronic nerve is that when the nerve start to be irritated and compressed for such a long time, the tissues, the surrounding tissues, they start atrophying and dying off. So, there's some other telltale patterns what we're looking for, for chronic nerve. And that's what we got over here. These fellows over here have been there for quite some time. It's presented that different little pattern over there. Okay. Well, well, well things looking good. Slight reading, very slight. Very slight. So right now we're looking for any abnormal temperature. That's what this instrument device is for. And right now we're doing things a little speeding because he can't sit here too well. And we found a reading right here. And this one heck of a reading got there. Why do you like that? This, this, there's a, pretty much almost no reading there. Yeah. I did ice it before coming, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Possibly. Awesome. Same thing as here as well. The reading here has improved. You do have a small little reading here. Yeah. It's significantly improved. Mm-hmm. Very, very small of a reading. All right, start over with, with instrumentation right over here. Purpose of this device is we're looking for any abnormal temperature. And the deal is this, when a structure gets damaged, it starts that inflammatory process. So we're looking for any and over temperature, swelling, and you see over here the reading is going to the right on this fella right there. So we're gonna take a closer look. So here's the story. We're doing this invitation right now. And I'm looking for any potential damage structures here. So when a structure gets damaged due to trauma or micro traumas, so on and so forth, the body initiates an inflammatory process. And one of the byproducts we're looking for is swelling, 
muscle spasms, which you're experiencing, okay? And that swelling, I'll point out in a bit. And also, other byproducts is heat. So that are normally heat, that's what this device picks up. And we're finding some different areas. Over here. And I could have sworn we saw on that uh, chronic nerve. There it is on the neck dorsal, looks like. And fourth lumbar. Uh, about a fog one right at the neck. So we start off with instrumentation. So the story is this, so whenever any structure gets damaged, it causes that smoke alarm, that alarm system, tell the body to go check it out and start repairing that damaged area. So one of the byproducts of inflammation, there's gonna be swelling and we see something that's very swollen over here, right? And we also see something swollen all the way down here as well. In addition to, there's gonna be some muscle tightness and that's what we feel here. Do you feel that part over there? Yeah. Yeah, it's tight over here, right? Feel this? Yeah. Yeah, it's not as tight as compared to the left side, right? And in addition to, there's gonna be some abnormal heat and that's what this fellow's picking up. So you got one heck of reading right at this level. And let's see what's going on down here. And you got another one right over here as well. So got a reading right there at the two less level. So right now this instrument over here, the primary purpose is to locate for any abnormal temperature. So when a structure gets damaged, it initiates an inflammatory process. And one of the byproducts is there's gonna be swelling. And that's what we see over here. There's some swelling over here, quite a bit. There's also swelling, there actually there's quite a bit of big patch over here this swelling patch over here, and muscles, they're tight. The muscle spasms, because it's trying to stabilize something here that's very unstable. And it also gives off heat. So this is what this device is picking up. It's picking up that abnormal heat. Because the body is trying to increase vasculature into this area to introduce more of the white blood cells to start repairing the damaged structure over here. You have another one over here. All right. So we still see signs of abnormal temperature at this fourth level right here. Take a look what's going on the sacrum here. Okay, a smaller reading. So it looks like that's improving. All right, champ. Okay, the rest of the readings are encouraging. We got one right here. Small little tiny little reading, but I think it was segment there. Sacral signal looks like it's holding. 